Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on Golf Tips, we're going to talk about the biggest mistake I see you golfers make using the stack and tilt golf swing with the driver. It's probably one of the most asked questions on my channel. I struggle with the driver, but hit my irons well. So what is the difference between hitting the irons and the driver using the stack and tilt golf swing? On today's video, I'm going to share with you the biggest mistake I see in a cure to help you golfers out there hit the driver better and play better golf. So I think a lot of you golfers do struggle taking your swing from your irons to the driver. So the first thing you learn in the stack and tilt swing is to have your weight more to the left, keep it there by tilting, and then move it forward. Now there's some differences between the iron and driver. With the iron, we're trying to hit down on the golf ball, trying to compress the golf ball, trying to get that low point in front of the golf ball to compress it and hit consistent iron shots. However, with the driver, we're trying to have more of a level attack angle, even slightly up. When you look at the best players in the world, their attack angle is around zero. Some will hit slightly up, some will hit slightly down. However, for most amateur golfers, for the clubhead speed they produce, you want to hit slightly up on the golf ball. That's going to help you with the launch and the spin rate to maximize your distance. So if you adopt a similar technique to the drives you do with your irons, you're going to kind of hit down it too much. So this is kind of one of the biggest mistakes I see. So let's hit a shot here. So the golfer might set up a bit too much on their left with their upper body and lower body, like I'm doing here, and they'll kind of stay forward in the swing. So let's give this a go. So you can see the shot there was actually pretty good. So that swing can work, right? I've managed to get that out there pretty good distance and pretty straight. So total distance there was around 260. Uh, you can see I hit the ball pretty much out the middle and I hit 1.8 degrees downwards, I swung at 100 miles an hour. So it can work, certainly that's for sure. Now, it doesn't always come out dead straight like that. That was a good shot, obviously. I tried to hit that as best I could. I wasn't deliberately trying to hit a good or bad shot there. I was trying to hit it as best I could from that setup position. So that can kind of work sometimes. But I actually see golfers hit down on it more and I swung that club pretty much on plane. So I delivered that club with a reasonable attack angle. Now, some of you golfers out there that do have their weight too far forward and then swing out to in, it's gonna have an even more of a dramatic effect on the angle of attack. So let's, let's swing this one slightly out to in with the same kind of setup here. So again, kind of works, a bit of a cut, but it's probably gonna find the fairway. So take a look at that 243, that one. This time, 2.7 out to in. 4.2 degrees downwards. So for a driver, not good numbers. Right? I'm going to struggle with distance here. The uh, spin rate on that one was um, quite low and the launch was quite low. So 9 degree launch, 1700 backspin. Now for the best golfers in the world, they're going to launch this maybe around 12, 13 degrees or for the best amateur golfers out there around 12, 13. They're going to hit slightly up and the swing direction is going to be pretty straight. So how do you change your setup? How do you hit this ball better? So hitting four degrees down is, is not going to be any good for sort of carry distance for the mount that you're swinging at. I still swung that 100 miles an hour, but obviously you only got that to 214 yards carry. So how am I going to carry this further? Well, first of all, with a driver compared to the irons, first of all, you're going to stand a lot wider. This already brings my head position back. My right shoulder, low and my left. Now, as I set up here, I'm actually going to bump more with my hip with my lower body. So I'm going to keep my weight forward with my lower body here, keep my head back. I'm going to try and deliver this with a tilt to my shoulders. Some of the best drivers actually lean back a little bit with their head as they hit through. So I'm actually going to try and stay back on this. So I'm going to set up with a hip forward a bit more than I would do with my iron swing. Try and keep my head back as I go through. So there I kept my head back, launched that a little bit higher. Caught that one maybe slightly out the heel, but distance wise, pitched out to 250, just rolled out about 267 there. So, slightly out the heel, as you can see, but I hit 3.4 up and swung pretty straight into the ball there. Potentially, speed could be a little bit more. Um, the idea is that we're trying to push our hips forward and tilt our shoulders to keep the club on plane, shallow it out, swing inside to out. Let's give that a go again. So, wider stance. Bump my hip forward, try and still tilt my shoulder, but stay very centered with my head. And then hips forward and tilt my 
right shoulder down through impact. See if I can hit a couple of degrees up on this one. So not bad that time. A bit better, hit that ball closer to the middle. So certainly more effective shot. Pitched out about 270 that time. So slightly better strike, rolled out to 288. Definitely better, again, 2.9 up. A bit closer to the middle, 0.4 into out, pretty straight shot. So by setting up my head slightly back, keeping my head back through impact, I'm shallowing out the attack angle. I'm helping my ability to swing on the inside by doing this. Okay, so many golfers, they kind of lead with their head, club comes out to in, comes too steep. So if you want to hit the driver better using a sag and tilt golf swing, you've got to keep that hip forward slightly at setup and keep your head back through impact to shallow out the attack angle, increase the shoulder tilt as you hit through the golf ball. So if you can do that, you've got a good chance then of delivering a path quite straight into the ball with a slightly positive attack angle, which is going to help you maximize your carry distance. So hopefully that video helps guys. Hopefully that clears up a few misconceptions between the iron and the driver. Certainly there are some differences and we're not trying to swing the club essentially the same as we do with an iron. With a driver here, I'm trying to hit this as far as I can with as little backspin as fast a swing. So my swing's longer. The ball's on a tee, so I can hit slightly up on it just to help me get that launch and help me get the maximum distance. So give that a go, you guys. Make sure you keep your head back, tilt the shoulder down as you go through, and that's gonna really help you improve your driver. So thanks for watching, golfers. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please follow me on my other social media platforms, and I'll see you next week for another video. Mm -hmm.